Hello everyone, Yoko Gaming here, and today I am back with another KSP video. And today I am starting a new series um, where I'm gonna be building a city on Minas. So this is the first uh, craft I have designed, um, using mostly planetary base ink parts, some stock parts, some parts from near future electrical and solar. I think that's all the mods I used for this craft, although I have more as you can see from the parts menu, I have full Umbra Space Industries mods, basically all of them. Uh, so this craft is designed in the way so if it has uh, all the resources it needs, it can uh, be fully sustain. It can fully sustain life on on somewhere for an extended period of time. I'm using uh, Umbra Life Support, so that's why I need all of the extra parts. So this is the rocket I have designed. It puts two of these modules on the top. The, I do this because they are like half a circle and comes the first full circle. And they have a quad cluster engine that's a bit more powerful than the mammoth. And the rhino engine on the second stage. Let's launch this thing. Okay, so here it goes. And 3, 2, 1, okay, launch. And now we are starting. I always start the gravity turn early and uh, pitch to 45 degrees. I can't do it too fast on this craft because it will just pitch over, but on other crafts I do it even faster. So, uh, and then I coast up to uh, Apogee and then circular. It's pretty, pretty standard ascent profile. So now I want to talk a bit about, uh, with you about what I'm gonna do with this colony. So today I'm sending the first modules in, and uh, they will just, you know, be the first modules of the colony. And then uh, later I will send uh, more of different kinds of modules that can harvest resources. Um, oh, and also their ha Miko and stage separation and second stage initiative just happened. Um, but yeah, so I will send all kinds of different. Uh, um, crafts to make electricity, make resources, and I just want to make a big fully sustainable colony on Minmas. And now we have almost coasted up to Apogee, and we will now start our circularization burn after just a few seconds. And also this isn't the first uh, try of this mission, because I had quite a few failures. First I had failures um, going to Minmas, getting a an encounter, then I had some uh, problems uh, uh, with landing the things because it didn't have any reaction wheels, so they just flipped out and all sorts of other problems. Also had some problems landing this thing, but I will tell a bit more about that later. So now I'm plotting the maneuver now to go to Minmas, and it's quite annoying when you get a man gravity assist when you want to go to Minmas. I think it didn't happen this time, but yeah, here we got the encounter, and now we have to wait for it, and uh, here it goes, and I also quick saved because I had some problems at this stage before, and I hadn't quick saved, so I had to redo the whole thing, and uh, almost finished, and... Uh, I slowly burned the rest of the way there, and as you can see, it didn't go exactly as that, but I just had to burn a bit further and it was all fine. And now one of my favorite parts of the mission, fearing separation. I know it doesn't sound exciting, but it looks amazing from the view of a Kerbal, and Valentina is the one I chose this time. So here it goes, and... Any second now. Uh, here it goes, and a view of space, and Kerbin on the left, right. Incredible. So now I prepared some things from the Umbra Life Support. I haven't figured it out fully yet, but I'm learning. And also, I just noticed that uh, Jeb is stranded on another West vessel. I, j I tested. So we have a different Kerbal in this one, and I will do something special with Jeb, so he can come to the colony too later. But you will have to wait and see what will happen. And now we will... yeah, I showed where he is. 
and now we will coast to the encounter with Minmas pretty soon. Anytime now. Anytime. Um, and also I recorded this video first with the sound, but I had the wrong microphone chosen, all of those things. And I also had this voiceover recorded before, but there were just a ton of problems, like it seems like my computer didn't want to re me to record and edit this video. But anyway, it's here, and I hope this doesn't get uh, corrupted or anything, I don't know. So here I just saved when we encountered Minima Minmas, and now we are just went to the periapsis, and now we are burning to circular eyes. And I like how the orbit just elongates or rather circularizes and then we got to Minmas orbit but we have our orbit had a pretty steep inclination so I had to just uh, um, oh I'm showing Jeb again but I had to uh, make a few burns to uh, make it more equatorial because that's where my surface base will be. I mean, it probably will be pretty large, so not all of the crafts will have to go equatorially, but I think that will be easier just to land on the same place. And now we are, and um, yeah, plotting those nodes as I said, and I'm burning a normal on one side and an anti-normal on the other side, so we can circularize. And here is the first burn, and I will soon do it, and uh, I think I should talk why I haven't been uploading for quite some time. As I said, I had some trouble editing and recording this video, and also I had a pretty annoying Minecraft video to edit earlier, and I have almost finished editing it, but not quite, so that should be coming pretty soon also. And one more thing I want to do is I want to make KSP to... Uh, um, news videos, so like when something gets posted by KSP team about KSP2, I want to do videos analyzing it and uh, talking about it. So if you uh, have any, uh, um, what so you can tell me in the comments what you think about that. Should I do it? Should I? Shouldn't I do it? And so on. And while I was talking, we circularized, and there are two possible. Not circularized, but we got an equatorial orbit, and there are two possible landing spots we could use. And they went for the smaller one. I think the big one could have been bigger, but we the smaller one was just um, closer for us to land, and it's also pretty cool looking. So that decided where our whole city will be. And one problem I have encountered when landed. Um, was that there is no motor, water on Minmas lowlands. I will maybe send a probe to scan it for water if there is any on Minmas and that way I could bring a rover there and then bring it back to the colony and supply water that way or else I could just make water. But the water making process is quite slow and, and requires a lot of energy so I will have to uh, uh, see what I can do with that. And now we switch to the final landing attempt that actually succeeded. I tried a lot of different things, landing, then separating, and the FMRS didn't want to work for me, so that's why I had to do what I did. So I just uh, separated the two, as you can see soon. Yeah, I warped a bit further, then I slowed down and separated the crafts, and I just flipped one just right and burned a bit, the other one just bounced off, and then I quickly switched to it using Vessel Switcher, and then I landed it too. Not the, the best landing, but it's something. And also the tank didn't explode, so it will probably... Um, I will maybe use it for material kits or stuff like that, or I will probably just leave it as a museum piece of the first rocket that came here second stage. So that's basically all done, we have landed, and this is when I noticed that there isn't any water over here, and also I just did all of the things, I activated the drills, the solar panels, stuff like that, 
and they don't know why Kerbals don't have enough long habitat time, by, maybe because they are alone, but they will have to do something with that. And the temporary solution for the problem of Kerbals not having enough uh, food will be uh, the topic of the next video, or at least one part of it when they bring just some supplies and maybe something more. I have uh, almost designed the thing, but you will have to wait and see until I uh, launch it. So that's about it for this video, and if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. We are now at 42 subscribers, and I think I would like to get like um, 100 or 200 by the end of the year, I don't know. And uh, the, thank you for watching, and I will see you again in the next video. Bye! So if everyone, if anyone is watching still over here, uh, comment uh, save tab in the comments down below. Bye.